The title of this video is shocking, and it is meant to be, but it does not refer to a literal statistic or a specific age on a calendar. It refers to a different kind of death that many people experience long before their time. The death of strength. The death of independence. The death of the vibrant, capable person they always were. We have all seen it. A person who was once the pillar of their family, who could lift grandchildren and carry groceries with ease, begins to shrink. They become frail, hesitant, and a fall that would have been a minor stumble a decade earlier becomes a life-altering event. This slow, silent fading is one of the greatest tragedies of aging, yet we are told it is inevitable. But what if it isn't? What if this decline is driven by a specific, preventable condition that almost no one talks about? If this message speaks to something you've been quietly living with, I invite you to stay with me until the end, because what you'll hear today might bring the relief you've been hoping for. And before we dive in, I'd be truly honored if you'd take a moment to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if this message resonates with your journey, and share it with someone you care about, maybe a friend from church, a longtime neighbor, someone from your walking group, or even your brother or sister. And in the comments, please tell us where you're watching from and how old you are, because you'll see you're not alone. This is a space of care, and your story matters. This silent thief of strength has a medical name, sarcopenia. It literally means poverty of flesh. It is the progressive and systemic loss of skeletal muscle mass and strength that occurs as we age. Beginning as early as our 40s, we can lose a significant percentage of our muscle tissue each decade if we do nothing to stop it. Think of your muscles as your body's metabolic engine and your armor against the world. They don't just move you, they regulate your blood sugar, support your immune system, and protect your bones. When you lose muscle, you don't just get weaker, your entire system becomes more vulnerable. Your metabolism slows down. Your risk of falls and fractures skyrockets. Your ability to recover from illness or surgery plummets. This loss of muscle is the invisible diagnosis behind so much of what we accept as normal aging. The two silent mistakes that accelerate this condition are rooted in common misconceptions about aging. The first is believing that gentle cardio, like walking, is enough. While walking is wonderful for your heart and mind, it does not send a strong enough signal to your body to build or even maintain muscle mass. Your muscles need resistance. They need to be challenged to stay strong. The second, and perhaps more critical mistake, is a gradual decrease in protein intake. Many older adults eat less, have smaller appetites, or believe they need fewer calories. But research shows the opposite is true for protein. As we age, our bodies become less efficient at processing protein to synthesize muscle tissue. This means we often need more dietary protein than our younger counterparts just to prevent our bodies from breaking down existing muscle tissue for its daily needs. The solution is a powerful two-pronged approach that directly addresses these mistakes. It is about sending your body the right signals. The first signal is resistance. This does not mean you need to become a bodybuilder. It means incorporating simple, safe strength-building movements into your week. Bodyweight squats, wall push-ups, or using inexpensive resistance bands for 15 to 20 minutes a few times a week can send a powerful signal to your muscles to grow stronger. The second signal, and perhaps more defining, is nourishment at every single meal. Many experts now suggest that older adults should aim for a significant portion of protein with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This provides your body with a steady supply of the essential building blocks it needs to respond to the signal from the exercise, repairing and building the muscle tissue that is your armor for a long and healthy life. 
Consider the story of a man who had always defined himself by his quiet strength. At 71, he was shocked when he struggled to lift a bag of soil in his garden, a task that had always been effortless. He felt a deep, private sense of shame when he had to ask his wife to open a jar of pickles. He felt himself becoming frail, and it terrified him. After learning about sarcopenia, he decided to fight back. He started a simple routine of bodyweight exercises he could do in his living room and made a conscious effort to eat a protein-rich meal three times a day. The change was not immediate, but it was steady. After a few months, he picked up the bag of soil with ease. He opened the pickle jar on the first try. But the real victory came when his grandson ran to him and he lifted the child into the air, strong and stable, with no hesitation and no fear. He hadn't just regained his muscle, he had reclaimed his role as the strong pillar of his family. The number that defines our age is just a number. The true measure of a life well lived is not in its length, but in its strength. The death that we should fear is not the one that comes at the end, but the slow death of our vitality, our capability, and our independence that can happen years earlier. Frailty is not a mandatory sentence of aging. It is the outcome of silent muscle loss. By choosing to nourish our bodies with the right fuel and challenge them with gentle resistance, we are not just building muscle, we are building a fortress against injury, a bulwark against disease, and a foundation for a life lived with strength, dignity, and freedom for as many years as we are given. You're not too old. It's not too late. Your body still remembers how to heal. It just needs your help to begin. If this message touched something deep in you, a pain you've carried, or a quiet hope you've held on to, thank you for staying until the end. It means more than you know. If you found value here, I'd be honored if you'd subscribe, leave a like, and share it with someone in your life. Maybe your sister, your neighbor, someone from your walking group, or even your brother or sister. And in the comments, please tell us where you're watching from and how old you are because you'll see you're not alone. This is a space of care, and your story matters. And if there's a topic you'd like us to explore next, please let us know. We're here to serve you.